So I found this cute little hairstyle off of Instagram and I'm pretty sure it's on TikTok too, but it's basically like a claw clip with your curly natural hair and as you can see it turned out pretty good. I really like this hairstyle. It's super cute. Now I'm just putting on my makeup for the day. I'm just filling in my eyebrows real quick and putting on some mascara. Okay, so here's the funny part. So I was getting ready to put on my perfume and the fan, I have a fan on the floor, like a mini fan. And as you can see, like all the perfume got in my face. So I just turned the fan off. Okay, so now I'm at the mall. I solely came here to get a baseball jersey because during the summer I'm gonna be putting them fits together and rocking it. So I picked up this New York Yankees jersey, it's super cute. All right, so I'm a little bit ups, not upset, but disappointed. So I got this in the mail today. This is the Velvet Petals La Creme. Uh, everybody in the YouTube community was hyping this up, blah, blah, blah. So it made me want to get it because first of all, <clears throat> if I sound like a man, it's because I'm just getting up for the day and getting ready. This is my original Velvet Petals that I've been using. I've been, you know, using it up, enjoying it, whatever. So I was like, okay, boom. Let me try the Velvet Petals La Creme. First of all, this is very hard to get your hands on, okay? Um, I got this off of Macari. Everybody is selling it for a super duper high price. They're jacking up the price. But luckily I got this for a good price. This was like $12 plus shipping. Anyway, so it smells... I don't really want to show myself because I'm doing y'all a favor. Okay, you see the mirror? You see that piece on my head? That's all y'all going to see. But it smells like more of a watery, aquatic... I don't know. I'm getting more fruity like type vibes. I don't know. I might have to resell this. All right, you guys, so I ended up getting the three finger combo with the toast and the sauce and the fries. I'm getting ready to eat. I don't even know what to try first. Should I try a fry? Real good, real good. <laughs> I see people be dipping their bread in the sauce. So I just got the signature cane sauce. I'm gonna see what's popping with this. Mm. It's got little seeds on it. Sesame seeds. <laughs> Looks really crispy. Real hot. <laughs> Crunchy, seasoned well, tender, cooked all the way. Okay. All right, Canes. One week later. Okay, hey guys. So it is Friday. I literally just got done silk pressing my hair. Boom. You see it. Super cute. It took me literally so long to do that. That's not the point of this section of the vlog. I want to share with you guys some of my hygiene empties that I finished this month yeah this month and a little bit last month so i finished my velvet petals everybody on youtube was hyping this up so i was like okay let me go try it i tried it the scent itself is really nice but it's not super strong and long lasting like everybody was talking about so i will not be getting this again i finished up this body wash this is the love and beauty planet uh rose water and niacinamide smells wonderful uh this was this was my second body wash from love and beauty planet i really like it it lathers up pretty good and the scent lingers on your skin for literally like an hour like i can get out of the shower and not put on any lotion and i'm still gonna smell like that shower gel my baby powder lotion i've had this for two years finally finished it up love it just finished up this pacifica coconut um coconut and probiotic face this is a water rehab cream. It's supposed to be like a face moisturizer. It sucked. Um, I don't know if my skin has gotten drier. Like normally my skin is dry and oily-ish. But anyways, I put this on and like 30 minutes later, my skin soaks it up and I have dry patches on, on my face still. So this was not very moisturizing for my skin, um, which is why we're going to Target today, actually. So we're going to do some skincare shopping. I finished up this frosted vanilla perfume that I had since december uh smells good it's vanilla last oh what is all on this something i think that might have been my shower gel now i gotta go wash my hands again um ugh, look at this i just finished up the 
Well, I didn't just finish this up. I finished. Look at all that. That is so gross. I know it's shower gel, but it looks disgusting. Yeah, that's the Rabat Rouge from Juicy Couture. Smelled a wonderful and it actually really lasts a long time. Like I can put on a shirt and put this on there and then put on the shirt a week later and it's still gonna smell wonderful. So yeah, I'm grossed out. I'm gonna go wash my hands. So I'm getting ready to put on my perfume right now. Yes, I'm gonna be wearing a hat today. Um, I did just flat iron my hair, but I am wearing a hat because I freaking put on the Glow Recipe last night. I'll put a picture on the screen. I put that on, it's got H, no, BHA and PHA. I know BHA is like a chemical type of exfoliant or something and you're supposed to be wearing sunscreen after you put that on. It even says it on the back. That's what I need to get. I need to get a sunscreen and some other skincare type stuff because I'm not trying to be doing no damage to my skin. I'm just wearing the, you guys seen this. I showed this to y'all in the last, last week when I was getting ready. I may have to stop by the beauty supply store. We got a couple of rounds to make. Couple rounds to make on the lovely beauty Friday, beautiful Friday. I'm gonna mix this in with the Gingham Gorgeous. First time wearing the Gingham Gorgeous. Everybody on YouTube been talking about it, so I'm gonna for sure take this with me in my purse because it's small. I'm not gonna be trying to smell sweaty and stuff while I'm out about. So let's go. Okay, so I've literally been in the skincare section for like 15 minutes straight trying to decide which sunscreen and moisturizer to get. I'm just going to get this sunscreen and I'm going to grab one of these little small uh, CeraVe facial. Oh no, these are cleansers. I thought these were lotions. Back at the His House and so while I was at Target, I did show you guys that sunscreen. When I went to ring it up, it was $23.99. I thought it was $14.99 or $15.99. I ended up putting it back and I got this Burst Face Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. And then I swung by the beauty supply store because I did have to go to the beauty supply store because I got these. Um, Target's fake nails, they will not fit me. My nail beds, I guess they're like wide and I have long nail beds. So I'm just going to give these a try. They are really long. I don't plan on keeping them on that long because I feel like I cannot function with long nails. I'm going to put those on tonight. I also need to put on my press on toenails. I did my hair, got that out the way. I need to nail my legs. And um, I'm going to be wearing a bikini tomorrow to the beach, so I need to be shaved. But yeah, that's what's going on. Gators, crocodile. I don't know, crocodile. No, these are alligators. Actually, we're at this like arcade type of place. This is pretty much the end of the vlog. After we looked at the alligators, we just went in and grabbed some lunch. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.